Made out. Get the boat ready. We're out of here. You ready? You ready? We're going! Whoa! I heard that you wanted to stay. Let's go sailing, girl. I'm strapping you in. I'm Benita, that's Yosh, and this is our sailing whip at Mali. Our sailboat Nandi has been our floating home for five years now. Slow and steady, we've been taking our home around the world. Well, that was up until we got trapped in Malaysia because of the current world crisis. You know the one. For over a year and a half, we've been stuck and confined to a marina, not being allowed to sail. Travelling anywhere at the moment is proving difficult and expensive, but travelling with pets is on another level of challenging. The neighbouring countries around Malaysia have all been closed for a year, but with a glitter of hope, Indonesia has opened its borders, allowing only yachts to arrive. With this fresh smell of freedom air, we pounced on the opportunity to get sailing and begin our 3,000 nautical mile journey to Australia. Sailor's warning. <laughs> oh, it's a super clear sky all around except for off the port side here, which has been flashing on warning, and that gen stuff generally disappears once the sun comes up. But uh, as the sun's coming up, there's just one area that's staying super grey and dark and lightning. So I think we have got a bit of a squall off to port. Hopefully, Nanji can just fly on faster. Tide seven knots, six and a half, seven knots. We just had a motor. Uh, there is a light easterly blowing, but we're not under sail. We'll just wait for the sun to come up. Uh, the easterly will pretty much disappear. That's just wind off the land at the moment. Yeah, it was meant to blow up southerly today, so hopefully we get that good southerly and we can get some sails up a little bit later on. But actually got a little bit of rain on me. Come on, man. Yesterday was like blue skies, sunshine, hot, and then it blew up southerly. And today's raining. Always the way. At least it's not like wind smack on the nose. <laughs> Why do I say this stuff? Touch wood. Don't jinx myself. Yeah, the sun's up, you can see what we're dealing with out here on port. That's out to the west, so all the sort of shitty weather does come from out of the west this time of year. But Angie doing seven knots with this current. We're gonna fly past that before it causes us any mischief. Oh, it's nice to be bloody outside. in a bit faster than we're going. See the wind line off the side of it. I'll have to go drop a couple of RPMs, eh? Let's get the old girl moving. All that squally type of uh, cloud and gusty wind is kind of past now and it's much more settled uh, and it's just coming straight up from the south now so 
We've just still been running under a heady, but the sun is getting up. It's probably about 8.30 now. I reckon I uh, might have to get the ladies up here and we'll hoist up this main. Don't want to turn the motor on and spin around into the wind. You kind of just go just go tighter to the wind. We let the boom ride out, and so then the booms and the lean can hoist it up that way, ho hoist the main up like that. Just means we'll be heading west instead of north for a bit, um, just to get the main up, rather than having to turn the engine on. It's just, it's just a little simple, easy way that we like to operate. But I just don't want to turn the engine on, basically. <laughs> just frothing sailing, and I need to remember how to sail. So while well, it's nice and calm and in these protected waters, let's get our practice on and figure out how to do everything again. Well, we're still doing five, five and a half knots, so it's not like we're not moving anywhere. That's like average speed for Nanji on passage. That's what we base a passage on is five knots. And considering we've been rocking seven eights all morning, just five and a half under a heady is sick. I want to get this main up, try to combat this little bit of roll we got going on, and get there faster. You know, you still got to chase that extra knot. Hello, hello. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Escape the jail, like that's that's the feeling that it ended up being. Just so many lockdowns, so many restrictions, like just sitting in the marina. We're not free yet. We're still in Malay. I don't care at this point. I'm gonna raise the flag, break the bad if I have to. <laughs> if, if someone tries to stop me from leaving, I'm just no, that's it. Raise the black. We're going rogue. Sleep won't come, and you've cried your song. Let it come to you. There's nothing you can do until I see you smile. Just below those eyes that tell me you're okay. It's written on your face. As you come to light, I come alive. Your silhouette in the summer sky. But this is only a matter. It can only get better. We got the wind on the back quarter this morning. We've got a full main and a full head sail. And uh, we're doing, we're averaging about five knots, which feels really comfortable and uh, really good. Like the wind feels pretty light. So I'm happy that we're doing five knots. And yeah, everything looks good. I think. Yeah, it's uh, couldn't have asked for better conditions to be sailing this morning. It's it's just beautiful. I mean, a bit of sunshine wouldn't go astray, but I'm not complaining. It's nice and cool. <laughs> it's not hot. It's nice and cool, and uh, it feels very lovely. Yeah, Nanji's just purring along. She's loving it. I think we're all uh, enjoying the sense of freedom that has come with uh, departing Pankhaw Marina. So. I'm starting to feel a bit doom and gloom in there, to be honest, like, but um, now that we're back out here sailing again, it's just, it's just really raised our spirits and um, our outlook, <laughs> I guess. So, yeah, loving it. This is just perfect. It's perfect unicorn fart weather. Tallulah's down asleep, so I think we're gonna utilize this uh, little opportunity here to raise up the asymmetrical. I know, it's like as soon as we say unicorn fart, the wind picks up, and now we're doing like five and a half, six knots. So <laughs> uh, I think we'll just wait till we drop down to three knots before we think about putting the fart up. Four and a half to a decent speed, we're just like, this is sick! <laughs> <laughs> we just wanted to get the unicorn fart out. Yeah, we just wanted to practice with the fart, but yeah, we're doing six knots again now, so we're sweet. Oh
these things? Just try to tell me she's not a sailor at the making. Go on, just try to. <laughs> what a mum, what a daughter. Tallulah's down asleep, so I'm gonna use this time to cook some lunch. I'm just going to fry up some whole different bunch of things and chuck it together in a bowl with some quinoa and call it lunch. So I've got some pumpkin, I've got mushrooms, tomatoes, capsicum, and also some tempura as well, which is kind of like tofu-y kind of stuff. I don't really know what it is, but that's what it's like. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna fry all these up, chuck them in a bowl, and we have avocado as well. Gotta have avocado, so it's gonna be so delicious. winds back and off again and we're down to three and a half four knots which means once mum's finished in the kitchen I reckon we might have to get the old fart up finally everything's sitting there ready and waiting we just uh, need to get the balls up <laughs> to get the fart up <laughs> we'll have some food and it's just it's super calm it's super light conditions so like it's definitely primo unicorn fart sort of weather so lunch is cooked it's still a bit early for lunch but i'm gonna head upstairs and get some wind on the face and then we can have lunch a little bit later in the day <sighs> We're struggling to get unicorn fart to properly set there. We'd just have to go too far off course. So I figured the main was blocking, blocking unicorn fart. So we just chucked a second reef in the main and now we've got a good angle again. It's amazing. Sometimes less sail means you go faster. So we put a second reef in the main and now the unicorn fart is full. Hey, now we're doing five knots again. So sick. in the afternoon it's my watch um, Yosh has just gone down to bed so I'll probably wake him up in about three hours time and we'll do a switch over and uh, probably do a sail change as well so we've still got the spinnaker up at the moment but I'll we'll probably pull that down before the night and 5 30 there'll still be plenty of light so but yeah it's just yeah we're doing about five knots so I think if it if we start to go any faster than this, then I'll have to get Josh up to pull it down, I think. But for now, it's all good. <laughs> Sorry, I've just, just got to keep my eye on it. It's freaking massive. Yeah, no, she's all good. Yeah, anyway, so um, yeah, I'm just tucking into a book. This is uh, Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. He's a comedian. It's stories from a South African childhood. So going to keep me busy as well as the, the spinnaker we're kind of like shifting between 0 and 330 degrees which is a sweet spot but then occasionally it will go further than 330 and so I've just got to keep my eye on it and make sure it's 
doing its thing, but it's all good. Yeah. So this is the afternoon. Honestly, you couldn't have asked for better weather. Like this is just perfect. Like Nandy's just singing along. Uh, this is a fish we caught the other day, so finger mark on mashed potato. I haven't cooked mashed potato for ages and it's pretty runny. <laughs> Baboons. Apologies for the light. My head torch only has a red flashing light. <laughs> but it's like 10 o'clock at night. Um, it's my watch. Um, yeah, first night sail that we've done in a long time. So I'm just uh, very alert and cautious of uh, all the lights and the boats around. There's fishing boats, there's squid boats, there's uh, cargo ships and stuff. So just keeping an eye on everything and uh, making sure we don't uh, hit anyone. And yeah, so. Um, it's a quite a warm night tonight and there's no wind so it's, it's yeah, it's nice. 